and Ben Wise, and you're not. Yes, exactly. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> I'm here at the Little Shop of Stories in Decatur, Georgia, and to interview Norton Jessiter, author of The Young Children. Thanks for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Here in Decatur, we're celebrating On the Same Page. OTSP's goal is to foster a community of readers by bringing families together around the same book. The fan of Tolby was just selected this book for this year in honor of its 50th anniversary. How did you feel when your book was selected as the first book for the OTSP program? Well, it's quite an honor. I've been running around doing a lot of publicity for the book because it's 50th anniversary, but I think this one is very special. I guess it is no. He's a very busy man. But it'd be very nice to think he might. Yeah. How old is your granddaughter and who is her favorite author besides you? Oh, there is no other favorite author. Uh, she's 15. <laughs> She's in ninth grade. If you could have dinner with any one of the characters from the Tolbu, who would you choose and why? Oh dear, let me think. Any of the characters. Uh, well, I'd like to pick one of the demons, and I'd like the crazy census taker, because I think he'd just be a lot of fun to spend time with. Um, I like the mathematician very much, so I wouldn't mind having having dinner with him. In fact, Milo in the book has dinner with him and almost uh, pays for it with his life because he ate so much he almost starved to death. Yes. Uh, attractions do. And let's see who else in the book might I want to have dinner with. Oh, I love the not-so-wicked witch. I'd probably want to have dinner with the ever-present word snatcher. Maybe I could get it for you to take the step the right way. Never. <laughs> yeah. he, he needs to go back to contacts. What is the word you would buy if you went for word market for a Dictionopolis? Well, I'm not sure because there's so many of them. But the one I picked is an example I love, and that's a poster. Because it's such a crazy word. You don't know why they even should be a word for a poster. But I love it because it's a funny word. What do you think it would taste like? Upholstery? Um, if I had a better memory, I could probably tell you, because I remember as a kid, I used to chew on the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably the I would get, if I had enough money, is Quetzalcoatl. What, what was that? Quetzalcoatl. What about it? Oh, no. There's a lot of vowels and vowels pieces. Oh, yeah. And a lot of everything. Yeah. Very hard to pronounce. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Mr. President.